My, uh, my stuff is all over this house. Why don't you have one of the maids help you? Oh, I don't think any of them really want to help me right now. Plus, it's not that long of a trek to the gatehouse, so it's okay. Um, I'm sure you both have work to do. Excuse me. I know. I shouldn't have her anywhere near here. I should be buying her a one-way ticket to Singapore or Denmark. But you can, can you? It's not a can or can't situation. You know, everyone thinks that this place is just one crazy mess of a house where everyone's backstabbing each other. Nobody's marriage even lasts a year. And it is a crazy mess, don't get me wrong. But I grew up in a house where my mother and father were solid, together. Perfect way to grow up, right? I'm guessing not. Everyone was just trudging through life. No fights, no dreams. It was just there. Nothing changed. Nothing really even seemed to matter. Here, at least you guys care. I mean, the Chandlers fight. You don't run away. I'm not trying to hurt anyone. Except JR. I'm just trying to keep AJ safe and do what's best for him. Do you honestly think that keeping him safe is having parents fight all the time? Trust me, I am a product of a divorce and it's brutal. I, I know, if there were any other way to do this, I would. Well, there is another way. You can let AJ stay with us and I will promise you, I will look out for him, I will make sure he's happy, but I will you make- You can't promise that. Don't you see? I mean, what goes on in that house is beyond your control, Colby. I mean, you need someone to protect you, too. Listen, I, I do understand that what you were saying about your family and how AJ is the one shining bright spot. I mean, I felt that way, too. Like, no matter what, I could get through the day as long as I saw his smiling face or heard him let out one of those belly laughs of his. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, he makes all our lives better just by being there. It's amazing. But it's not his responsibility to keep us going. I mean, he shouldn't have any responsibilities except being a kid. He deserves that, Colby. No. No, I, I know he does. And, and I do love him. With all my heart. I know that. I just sometimes feel like without AJ, our lives are going to fall apart. You can't count on a six-year-old to hold your family together. You need to figure out how to do that on your own. You don't want me here? Of course I do. Are you kidding me? When things get crazy and Liza's foaming at the mouth to turn around and see your face, you have no idea. Yeah, I got some idea. But Liza's laid some serious groundwork in there about my feelings for you, and the last thing we need is the jury thinking that I killed David to be with the man I really love. And since that's the story that Liza is spinning, we can't give her any more ammunition. Do you understand that? Totally. So you'll stay away? Not a chance. Did you just not hear everything that I just said? Because yesterday you kissed Okay, out okay, of the all right, that, that was to shut you up, okay? That, that was for your own good. Really? You know, soon you'll have to face reality. If my dad gets me acquitted... When your dad gets you acquitted... They'll be coming for you. Especially if they think we're in love. You know what? You're not going to sell me on this, Greenlee. I'm sorry. Listen to me, No, you listen Ryan. to me. I'm going to be here until this is over, okay? And it will be over. I promise you. How do you know? It will be over because you're going to make sure of it. Let it go. You're not going to take the let fall for me, let Ryan. Let it go, Greenlee. I'm serious, please. No, when have you ever known me to let something go? Not happening. Not even if I ask really, really nicely. <sighs> Fine. So what if I ask really, really <laughs> nicely for you not to show your face around here? All right. How did you put it? Oh, that's right. Not happening. There's my life. Stuffed into a garbage bag. <laughs> Perfect. Ha, ha, ha.
Marissa, maybe give it some time. With Danny moving out, things are going to be different. And I promise you that JR will get it together. When? I, I just came from the house, Colby. Annie is still there. And she looks like a total mess, by the way. And JR wasted no time in threatening me. He made it painfully clear that things are just going to get worse, nastier. And I can't have AJ around that. I won't. So you're done. There's no give and take at all. I gave and gave and gave. You know that. There's nothing left except my love for AJ. I miss you, Marissa. I miss you too. And I would give anything for you and JR to work things out, Colby. But since that's not gonna happen, I guess I have to choose. Says who, JR? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, at first I thought it was a stupid idea, but he's right, and so are you. JR and AJ are all that I got, and I'm the only one keeping this family together. So, I guess this is me choosing them. How are you feeling? Feeling pretty decent, actually. Pretty energized. Mm. I guess eviscerating people on the stand will do that to you. Eviscerating? Ooh, is that on your GED exam as well? No, no, that's what Jonas says to the Space Butans in Intergalactic 4. It's a great movie. Right. Seriously. Yeah. You kicked ass, Counselor. I did, didn't I? Hey, Madison, I see you're still in one piece. I'll live. Yeah, Eliza's uh, line of questioning was a bit of a surprise, but I think you handled yourself very well. Thank you. Sure. I know you must think I'm crazy. Why is that? We were there when Ryan and Greenlee... I mean, I know what it looks like, okay? Like, I'm the biggest sucker in the world to think that I could have a future with him. Let me tell you something you may not know. Love is crazy. That's what keeps us all interested. Forget all this asking crap. It's my trial, my decision. You need your friends around you, Green. Yeah, friends maybe, but you, me? And do, do you know how hard it is to ignore you when I know you're close by? To pretend that we're casual exes, and especially with the jury watching us like a hawk? I gotta go. Ryan. I'll see you tomorrow. No, listen, you show up tomorrow, I swear to God I'll have you thrown out of that courtroom. I'll see you tomorrow, Greenlee. Have a good night.